What kind of vintage antique flea market shopper are you? With recent inflation hikes here in the States, I think we're gonna start seeing much larger crowds at flea markets like this for a whole lot of reasons. Whether you're an avid collector of vintage antiques and collectibles, looking for that unique, fantastic piece, or just hoping to thrift the latest home decor design trends at a steal, vintage antique flea markets are a great place to find a great deal on the real deal. Personally, I do both. I love that antique Bridgerton home decor style that's so popular right now. I always have. And I also love the trend of the rounded furniture, that vintage feel that comes from the Art Deco period. I'm obsessed and I'm keeping my eye out for a rounded sofa or chairs today. That's one of the things on my list but I'm also always keeping an eye out for that really spectacular, rare, or unique antique piece that just takes my breath away. Hello, I'm Tanya, and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I do all things thrifting, from yard sales and thrift shops to flea markets and antique shops, looking for great deals and steals. It's all about the hunt. If you want to see how I find amazing bargains, subscribe to my channel for tips, tricks, home decor ideas, and the best locations to find them. Sorry. It's hand routered. And that's so that's a that's a thread. Hand threaded. What? It's wood. It's out of wood instead of metal. The whole thing is solid wood. I think it's pecan wood. Wow. From the nineteen thirties. And it's a yarn holder from the nineteen thirties. Yeah. And people like the lady I got it from an antiques dealer, she would use it at Christmas and fill it with Christmas balls and lights and uh, pine tree stuff. Yes. And then um have it like a decoration. That's a great idea. I was wondering if I could, I was trying to think of a way I could use it in my kitchen. Yeah, people put fruit in it <laughs> That's and things. That's thinking, like Line vegetables or something? Yeah, put fruit okay. and vegetables in it. first drool-worthy piece of the day. This definitely was a breathtaker. This gorgeous hand-painted fire screen mirror. I just, I still can't get over it. The colors in that bird alone. This one, I don't know if I've ever wanted to take something home so bad that I had to pass on. I fell in love with it, but there's no way I could have glass on my floor. I am far too clumsy for that. It might last maybe two days. The Victorian pattern on this custard glass bowl sucked me in. Stunning. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to. Uh, Late 1800s and lions, be still my heart. Yeah. 
crystal decanters love and I love that these have made the hugest comeback in interior design. Everybody's doing bar carts again and everybody's using these. They're out in the open. You can put your water in it. You can do orange juice and champagne for mimosas. I just love, love, love seeing the antiques come back into use and not just stored away in a cabinet somewhere, but actually being used on tables, not just for holidays even, oh, like everyday it. stuff. I just, there's nothing like it. This is only 20 bucks. I know, it's really nice. I can't. <laughs> you, need a, you need a fourth? <laughs> yes. Okay. And have to even it out. Yeah, I have one of these, and I think I, this is fun. I have one very similar. That's cute. And I have one similar to that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. 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 I'm going to drop some tips in because this table is a great example. Some of the items are kind of pricey, more like an antique store price, and then some of the items were half off. So a good thing to do here would be either to negotiate for an item that you are interested in or come back at the end of the day. A lot of times people just don't want to pack up their stuff when they're going home, so if you're willing to risk not picking it up right at that second. You could come back around mm, three o'clock maybe, or even four, and offer a lower price that you feel is more reasonable. You definitely want to negotiate when you come to a place like this. The vendors won't be insulted. It's part of the fun. They understand and they'll let you know if that they're already at their bare bottom price that they can afford to sell their item for. But I negotiate on everything even if it's already on sale, especially if I'm getting multiple items. If I'm getting three to five or more items from the same vendor, I'm definitely going to be asking for a discount. I would also highly recommend reining in your impulse buying before walking into a place like this. I don't know how many times I bought something, walked two rows over and saw it for 10, 20 even $50 cheaper just a few aisles away. I have since found it beneficial to make a full lap of the entire place before buying anything. Just a quick lap just to see what's out there and also to squash some of that FOMO feeling. FOMO is fear of missing out. Busts have made a huge comeback in home decor and Greek statues are supposed to be huge in 2023 interior design apparently. I would highly recommend looking someplace like this for them instead. You'll see them in cast iron and plaster. They're just way better quality than the junk resin you can buy online. And for way less. This mirror is the absolute cutest. It would be so gorgeous hanging over a fireplace. And it's a really good price. It's not the same one everybody else has in their house right now. I look at any place where they sell vintage and antiques first before I buy anything from a big box store or online now. We're about to see my first big score of the day. And when I say big, I mean big, like huge. I have a huge list of things I've been looking for forever. And one of them is a gigantic antique frame to turn into a lean-to mirror. And look at this beauty that I found. The beveled mirror is broken, but that's okay. I was expecting to have to purchase one anyway. And frames, antique frames this size, are a small fortune. You won't believe what I paid for it though. I'll tell you at the end during my haul when you see everything that I bought. This vendor is moving for grad school. Yay, congratulations. So this is her version of a yard sale.
I'll do like 25 at Sterling. But there's going to be some really cool stuff. We have to come back this way anyway. This one here. $50. That is 1920 So pretty. And it works fine. It was working? Yeah. Always lots of gorgeous pottery here. Roseville, Hull, Red Wing, mostly Roseville. At least that's what I seem to be drawn to. This wow. handle's different than this one. Very this was cool. like pecan wood and this is pine and then oak. It's just crazy. Oh wow. And how much are you asking for? I wanted to get a hundred, but I I'll take sixty. Oh wow. It's so old. I'm stopping at this booth with more furniture. This place is incredible for furniture. I can't find prices like this at Ikea. These prices are low. Spoiler alert, I snatched these little babies up. These are so perfect for just about anything. Look at them. Perfect for pedestals, for plant stands, for a little uh, bust or statue, or displaying anything really. Side tables for your sofa or chairs. I couldn't believe my luck. And they still have this sticker inside. They're amazing. I turned the, the marble over off camera because I didn't want to drop it and it's stamped with Made in Italy. I'll tell you more about them during my haul at the end. That three-tier stand that I just showed, it's in the mirror right now. That is an absolute steal at $20. It needed a little work, but well worth it. Those things are so expensive. Again, fantastic for so many things great for like side tables for your bed or for your living room. Also absolutely amazing on a table during the holidays or some fancy occasion or even just brunch or a tea party to put cakes on or cupcakes, muffins, hors d'oeuvres, anything, cutesy cookies. Oh, they're, they're just stunning. They're stunning. Look that up on Pinterest. You're gonna love it. If you have one, tell me how you're using yours in your home in the comments below. Base. These are my absolute favorite. They make the easiest, most gorgeous bouquets. This one's metal, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. 
For the longest time, I looked at antiques, loved them, but was afraid to use them, so I didn't buy a lot. Now I use them all the time, and especially here, $10, $20, no more expensive than you'd buy at some big box store. Some of you already know what this is, but for those who don't, this is incredible. This right here is a waffle maker. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Unless she had all her own stuff already. Doorknobs or so, or I mean, uh, doorknobs. Um, Trying really hard to say drawer pulls. What do you call them? Like dresser knobs, right? Isn't that what these Curtain are? Curtain standoffs. Oh, they're uh, curtain so tiebacks. I should have picked it up for a song. Hey. Curtain tiebacks. Honey, we're gonna go right over there. Really close. Okay. How much are these selling for? Oh, like a hundred and fifty a set. A set. Okay. Very pretty. Wow, huge, huge score for me here. I was looking for frames. I pretty much am always looking for frames, but there were so many here and they're exactly what I'm looking for. Most of them have needlepoint in them, but needlepoint is pretty much worthless in the market right now. So this seller is selling the frames and disregarding the needlepoint that's in them, selling all the frames for about $25 a piece. Just to give you an idea, these frames were selling for about $65 starting price for the smaller sizes, just a few rows over. Which is exactly why it's better to take a trial run through the entire market before making any purchases. This vendor buys storage units and then sells whatever's in them. It's different every time. So I would highly recommend, if you're going to markets looking for deals, Finding a vendor that's usually at the market you're going to that's doing the same thing because you're probably going to get a really, really good price on whatever it is they're selling, just like I did. And because I was buying multiple frames, I bought four. I asked her if she could do a, an even better price for me, and she did. I got them for $20 a piece instead of $25. I got an unbelievable deal, and she got... A loyal customer because I promise you I will check back with her every single time from now on. These little statues are collectibles from Italy which I know absolutely nothing about but I like to show everything that I possibly can and they do have collectibles here. While I was filming them I noticed a couple standing nearby and I thought oh gosh I'm probably in their way but they were standing by to say hello because they're part of our YouTube family. It's just it's such a joy to run into yeah, people and, and then have It'll them have say a great hi. Time with you or see of your course. Views, of course. Yeah, and hopefully I'll bump into you later today and see what you bought. There you go. I would love to be great. Let's see so what you much. get. You get a good stuff all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I see your videos already. Oh, thank you, you so much. You have a very good taste. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so, it. so much. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. They were the sweetest couple. I am so glad they said hi.
and they were obviously my good luck charm because I found these gorgeous frames right after I talked to them at the end of that same aisle. I fell in love with them and I even loved the prints that were in them and that almost never happens to me. I usually have to order online or wait till I find an oil painting or another piece of art that I really like to put in them, but I was so happy with them just the way they were. The wind picked up and you can hear it in my mic. It's kind of crackly. I'm so sorry, but it won't last. It goes away. It's, it only lasts for a minute or two, I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you guys have a yeah. How much for that one phonograph? This one? Uh, I, I want 300 for this. Yeah. It works. Yeah, that's... Because I opened it up. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good day. No, because this is... This is one of my favorite booths this time of year. They have a little bit of everything and they usually have some unique metal pieces for yard art, which is perfect because it's about that time.
Is it still part? thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind Ooh, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time
You know how I love to spy on other people's purchases. I cannot control myself. Well, this was a huge day, so I headed out to my car, and that's where I saw this incredible find in the parking lot. A little different. This is the second coat you bought here? Was yeah. the other one fur too? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. It's so fantastic. I love the modeling too, thank you. <laughs> this is me accosting people in the parking lot to see what they bought. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. That jacket was absolutely incredible and now I'm gonna need one. But I am excited to show you my haul. This is the first thing I'm showing you, the tables, the little side tables. So pretty. Let me show you the inside. They were $30 a piece. I think I got $5 off. I think I ended up getting them both for 55, which is not bad. Look at, look at that. Oh, that's upside down now, sorry. That was right the first time, there we go. Love that. And then I have a better view for you than I did when I was at the Vintage Antique Flea Market of the inside. Everything I got is pretty breakable, so I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna man the camera instead of being in the video. But I wanted to show you this gigantic frame, which I can't even back up enough to get in the picture. It's so huge and I wanted to tell you the story on it. Oh, it's absolutely massive. It's seven feet tall and about four feet wide, treading on it anyway. And it's been painted a thousand times, so I will probably repaint it, but I don't know. I may leave it at is, as is. Let me know what you think. And I love the wear and tear on it. I just, I love it when old stuff shows its age and you know, to each his own on that. But I really do like it. It's gorgeous. And so I ended up getting this giant mirror or this <laughs> mirrorless mirror. Um, I ended up getting it for $20. She was asking 25 because the mirror was broken and then she said she would deliver it for another 20. So for $40, I got this giant frame and got it delivered because I couldn't get it home any other way. I just had my tiny little clown car, but oh my goodness, I love everything about it. It's so gorgeous. It's going to be such a stunner when I put a mirror in it. 
and someday I would like to find a tapestry that I really love to put in there instead of the mirror. That's the hope. I have yet to come across one that big, at least in my price range, so we'll see. But this was my big lucky find for the day. I also got these two absolutely beautiful frames. So stunning. I absolutely love them and I love the prints that are inside. I'm sure you recognize both of them, both of the paintings. There's this one and then there is also this one. And I'm redoing everything in blue, so they are working, they're gonna work out just perfect for me and I'm really, really excited about them. Um, I got them both for $40, I believe, so 20 a piece with some art in it. Can't beat that. And last but not least, I got all four of these beautiful frames for $20 a piece instead of 25. I got a really great deal on them. And I'm just going to replace the needlepoint that's in there. I'm not the world's biggest fan of any of the needlepoint pictures that are in there. I'm just going to probably put them away. They're not selling right now, at least here. So I'll probably put them in a box in the closet for a while, a fairly long time probably, until eventually they come back around. Everything eventually comes back around, starts selling again. So they're worth holding on to, but I ordered some prints online. They're gonna be here in a couple of days. So I found these just in time. It was absolutely positively perfect timing for me and they're gonna fit so perfectly. I can't wait. <laughs> and that's it for today. So thank you so much for coming along with me and I'll see you next time. And until then, happy thrifting.